Hello, basketball fans, and welcome to another episode of NBA Talk. Today, we are going to discuss the 2023 NBA Draft, which was held on June 22, 2023, and featured some of the most talented prospects in recent history. The draft was headlined by Victor Wembanyama, the 7'4 French phenom who was selected first overall by the San Antonio Spurs. Wembanyama is widely considered to be a once-in-a-generation talent who can dominate both ends of the floor with his size, skill, athleticism, and versatility. He has been compared to legends like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Kevin Garnett, and many experts believe he will be an immediate superstar in the NBA. But Wembanyama is not the only rookie who can make a big impact in the league. There are several other players who have the potential to challenge him for the Rookie of the Year award or at least make a strong case for themselves. In this video, we are going to rank the top three players who can compete with Wembanyama for the rookie honors, based on their draft position, college or international performance, fit with their new teams, and projected role and opportunity. However, we are not going to pick the obvious choices like Brandon Miller or Scoot Henderson, who were drafted second and third overall respectively. Instead, we are going to look at some of the players who have a higher ceiling or a better situation than their draft position suggests. Let's get started. At number 3, we have Jalen Hood Shafino, who was drafted 17th overall by the Los Angeles Lakers. Hood Shafino is a 6 foot 5 point guard who played one year at Indiana under coach Mike Woodson. He averaged 13.4 points, 5.6 assists, 4.2 rebounds, and 1.7 steals per game in his freshman season, while shooting 46% from the field and 38% from three point range. He also helped the Hoosiers reach the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2016. Hood Shafino is a versatile and explosive player who can play both guard positions and score in a variety of ways. He has a great handle and a quick first step that allow him to blow by defenders and get to the basket. He also has a smooth jumper that he can hit from mid-range or beyond the arc. He can also pass well for his size and has a good feel for the game. He will join a veteran and championship caliber Lakers team that features LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, and others. Hood Shafino will have a chance to learn from some of the best in the game and contribute to the Lakers' success. Hood Shafino will also have a chance to showcase his skills and win over fans with his clutch plays and winning mentality. At number 2, we have Jet Howard who was drafted 11th overall by the Orlando. Howard is a 6'7 shooting guard who played one year at Michigan under coach Juwan Howard, who is also his father. He averaged 15.6 points, 4.8 rebounds, 2.4 assists, and 1.2 steals per game in his freshman season, while shooting 48% from the field and 42% from three-point range. He also helped the Wolverines win their first Big Ten regular season title since 2014. Howard is a skilled and confident player who can score from all three levels, handle the ball in transition or half-court situations, and play off the ball as well. He has a smooth shooting stroke and a high basketball IQ that allow him to make smart decisions and take advantage of the defense. He can also rebound well for his position and defend multiple spots on the floor. He will join a young and rebuilding Magic team that features Jalen Suggs, Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter Jr., Franz Wagner, and others. Howard will have a chance to prove himself as a scorer and playmaker for the Magic, who are looking for a new identity and direction. At number one, we have Emony Bates, who was drafted 49th overall by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Bates is a 6'9 small forward who played one year at Memphis under coach Penny Hardaway. He averaged 17.4 points, 6.2 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and 1.4 blocks per game in his freshman season, while shooting 45% from the field and 37% from three-point range. He also helped the Tigers win their first NIT title since 2002. Bates is a generational talent who has been hyped as the next Kevin Durant since he was in high school. He has a rare combination of size, skill, athleticism, and versatility that make him a nightmare for opponents on both ends of the floor. He can score from anywhere on the court with his touch, footwork, post moves, shooting range, and finishing ability. He can also pass well for his size and has a good feel for the game. He will join a young and talented Nets team that features Ben Simmons, Cameron Johnson, Mikal Bridges, Spencer Dinwiddie, and others. Bates will have a chance to learn from some of the most versatile players in the game and contribute to the Nets' Euro improvement. 
Bates will also have a chance to showcase his skills and win over fans with his potential and charisma. These three players have the talent and the opportunity to make an immediate impact in the NBA, and they will not make it easy for Wembanyama to win the Rookie of the Year award. However, Wembanyama has a unique combination of size, skill, and potential that makes him a once-in-a-millennium prospect. He dominated the French League in his last season with Metropolitan's 92, where he won the MVP, Best Defender, and Best Scorer awards, while leading the league in points, rebounds, and blocks for Game 3. He also impressed in his first appearance in the United States at the Nike Hoop Summit in October 2022, where he scored 37 points and blocked five shots against Team USA 2. When Banyama has been compared to some of the greatest players in NBA history, such as Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, and Hakeem Olajuwon. Who do you think will win the Rookie of the Year award in the 2023-24 NBA season? Will it be Wen Banyama or one of his rivals? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't a Euro T forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more basketball content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.